Right, I've just left um, the main road back there. Here's the old vicarage here. Shalom, that's Israeli for hello. That's the old vicarage in there. Which you can get back into the church. You can get back into the church there as well. This should, in theory, take me back to... Um, down to the river. I don't know how long it's going to take or anything, but there's no panic. Um, there's no panic whatsoever. There's a pumping station there. If we just go in here a minute. Yeah, there we go. Look, now over there, right over there, is the Quantock Hills going along there. My lovely Quantock Hills. No doubt the river is only just down there, but only locals will know. They're the only ones that will know the quick way down to the river. Something you get to know, isn't it, when you um, live local. Something I'll get to find out, I suppose. But basically, it's a beautiful sunny spring morning, 10-ish. I just did a very small video a min moment ago, and this is another one. Just to, um... Add to the video of the day. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't walked down this bit of the lane. There will be a bit I've done before. Normally I've walked through the village along the top and been down to the riverbank. The idea today is to see if we've got any cows in the fields. Because it isn't going to be long now, is it? Before they are let out. But I've had to bring Alberta because the bus timetables might not have switched to summertime yet. And if there's a last bus is 20 past four, that's what I call a rush. So what happened to me last week, although I can't guarantee that there weren't later buses because the timetables are so varied. No date on them. Some say there's two buses a day, and they look to me like there's two or three in an hour. Yeah, here's the back of uh, Paulette Village there. There used to be a hotel here um, called, uh, well, we, it was called the Manor Hotel, but uh, it could have been just some Paulette Manor. And uh, it might have been a manor in the past as well, you know, a manor house. Now gone, destroyed. New residential accommodation built. But it was also a, a drinking place. And later it became very popular with young ravers and old ravers. But mainly with the ravers when it was the 90s. Um, it became a very popular venue there. One of the best, I would say, in the southwest. So there is um, an affinity with uh, the place. All my children used to attend that manor when they were in their teens. There we go, we've got the church again. St John the Baptist, which we will see from the riverbank later. Right, over and out so I can take a picture of it here. Never stood in this position before. Right, over and out.